Sobriety Channel, and I'm going to be talking about a supplement called Sammy. Although in Europe, the supplement is uh, not legally sold, even though it's a natural substance. And I believe I know the reason why, and I'll get into that in a minute. So uh, your mind and your body are connected, and uh, Psychoneuroimmunology and health psychologists are aware of the biochemical responses in the body. Sort of a surface understanding, not like an MD or a neurologist would. Um, that said, I'm going to uh, get into uh, some of these details here about the SAMI. Okay, so I'm asking you, is supplementation with SAMI right for you or a loved one? Well, you've got to check the boxes and figure out if it is. And what is SAMI, right? It is a complementary adjunctive therapy or alternative supplement some people might help. Now, as always, consult with a qualified, licensed medical doctor. Uh, there, You can check with your board of medicine, in the United States that is, uh, for a licensed qualified physician, doctor of osteopath or MD, both of them have MDs, and um, other doctorates like myself, I am uh, in a doctorate program for PhD in health psychology, but I do not, I mean, I just understand uh, some things very well, but others not, and it's important to speak with a MD. Okay? If you want to know more about medical licensing, you can go here. I have uh, physicians in my family, and uh, it's an expensive exam. This is not medical advice, okay? I just want to make that clear. It's illegal to make medical advice without a license just like it's illegal to practice law without a license in the United States. So, uh, unless you're ABA approved, even if you have a JD, you cannot be practicing the law. Um, okay, so all that said, what is SAMI? It's, it's something that your body makes, but you can also get a supplement. For example, your body does not make vitamin C, but you need vitamin C. However, your body can make other nutrients out of the building blocks that it eats from food and you can have that right so let's get into the nitty-gritty first of all the full name for Sammy this is an abbreviation is S Edna Sol L methione uh, check the pronunciation on that I am sort of self-taught here it's a natural chemical and it's part of a uh, methyl transsulfuration cycle in the body. Now, it has been found that certain people that might be ill or are older, uh, their body starts to make less of it. It's part of the, uh, if you want to call it maximum entropy or whatever you want to call it, it's part of the winding down of the physical body. However, maybe you can trick nature and wake the body up and add in some stuff if it's making less, right? So, uh, some people, uh, I already said this, so, what does it do? It helps keep pain in check or inflammation, and um, it improves the mood. It increases, L uh, I think it's dopamine and serotonin in some people. Now, this product does compete with pharmaceutical companies, and most physicians are not trained in um, very much in alternative adjunctive therapies. However, they do have uh, quite a bit of understanding of pharmaceuticals because they have to prescribe them. Uh, they probably have to cross-check if it's going to compete like with something somebody's taking like warfarin or uh, something to lower the blood sugar. The, bottle, the body has to maintain what's called homeostasis. And there also is a circadian rhythm in the body. And what the SAMI does is it's going to give you more energy. And for some people, their circadian rhythm is very sensitive. 
and this might cause them to have a serotonin storm and keep them up all night because even if they're predisposed a uh, bipolar episode of mania or something. So one of the things you have to do with the SAM E is you have to proceed with caution. You might want to ask your physician. He may not know. But what you could do is, uh, I think doctors of osteopath are kind of uh, a little bit more, they have a little bit more understanding of uh, supplementation with more natural chemicals. So let's get over to the, uh, the pathway. By the way, Prozac and some other uh, medications uh, probably would stack on top of this and it cause some symptoms that you really need to talk to your physician because it's similar to Prozac in some ways. Um, however, it's, you know, the natural. So another thing is that this thing degrades really fast uh, in the pill form, so I would suggest buying it in like the the uh, blister packs if you're going to get it. So basically, in a nutshell, reduces pain for some people and reduces inflammation for some people and increases mood and energy levels for some people. Now, uh, not everybody can take it. If you're diagnosed with uh, bipolar, I I would not take it. If you're diagnosed with something that uh, where your circadian rhythms are upset and you have trouble sleeping, this might add to it. If you have anxiety that's uh, pretty bad and you have trouble sleeping, this might interfere with that. So maybe you could take a pill in the morning. You know, what's right for each person is different. So let's jump over the uh, the... Okay, here's the other thing. If you are going to take it, you need to supplement with folate B12 and vitamin C, in my opinion. And the reason why is because I've researched this extensively. And, um, for example, I went over to this Oregon State educational site, and I read uh, quite a few scholarly articles on it before deciding to take it myself. Um, I, I started taking it uh, in the fall. I've been experimenting with it, and I did it after a bout with shingles and severe pain I couldn't get rid of, and I have asthma, and it actually helps with me with that. That's a totally off. Nobody studied it, so it's a totally different thing. So basically, if you go to this website, and the link is below, uh, you can get a summary of the folate and um, this micronutrient. Now, wait a minute. Let's see if I can find the SAM E. Because I found it on this site, but that's the backstory. Okay. Well, anyway, I don't know why it took me out of the site, but I am sorry. I if I mistake, put the wrong link here. Oh, that no, wait, that's not the wrong link. The other link is probably up here. Here, no, that's not the right link. Okay, guys, sorry. Listen, in the interest of time, I'm just going to jump you over to some of this stuff. All right. So I've got a couple different windows open. And I'm going to jump you over. Here's another warning: hypotensive effect in rats. Okay. This thing right here, let me highlight it for you, is SAMI, okay? They've been doing studies. Now, one study is not going to conclude, it cannot conclude anything. You need a systematic uh, meta-analysis and literature review of all the other randomized controlled studies. Case studies are not good science. They are indicators, there's dipping your toes in the water. They're going to tell you something, but you can't make a conclusion by it. Like I said, medicine is one size does not fit all. So this is something, if you've got low blood pressure, okay, hypotensive, low blood pressure, uh, hypertensive is high blood pressure, um, 
uh, and K ATP. See, this could be a confound, confounding, uh, 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 confounding. Now I don't know why potassium ATP. Uh, anyway, so this is from 2016, and it talks about the number of physiological processes in the nervous system and some evidence suggests a potential therapy in hypertension that's high blood pressure okay so this study is like oh well it might lower it and well it might here's another stu study um, I, by the way I just grabbed a couple there have been tons of them you can go on Google Scholar if you don't have a uh, this is the um, effect on depression, okay? Mild to moderate depression, okay? So uh, here's another thing. It says the SAMe acts as a methyl donor with dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin alleviating properties with potential antidepressive effects. In this study, we evaluated the efficacy of SAMe vitamin B complex supplement for improving mild to moderate sense. Notice how they added on the B because they know if you have something missing in the chain, it's not going to work right. And a lot of things like getting enough sleep are part of that chain, right? That's why people that have circadian rhythm disorders or trouble sleeping might need to either add on melatonin at night, reduce their SAMI and not take it late in the afternoon. Um, this will uh, help a lot of people. It helps me. It helped me with uh, post-herpetic neuralgia from shingles. This is what got me through it. I had severe pain and it would just, oh, it was terrible. And I didn't know what to do because I have asthma and I was getting really upset. And um, I, I just, on a fluke, decided to take it. So your mind and your body are connected. And I have been taking this supplement since November, and I started with a low dose, and I've been moving up to a higher dose, and I'm going to wean myself off in the summer, because in the winter is when your uh, D levels and stuff go down, and you're not out as much. I just kind of took it to take the edge off. For me, it works for me. It may not work for you. It may not work for someone else. That's why I'm saying, hey, is it right for you? I don't know. That's why I say go to a talk to a doctor. I'm explaining a little bit about how it works. It's a natural supplement. I'm going to scroll through here really fast to just make sure I didn't miss anything, and then I'm going to hop off, okay? I just want to make sure that I didn't forget anything. Okay, so, oh, yeah, did I tell you you need to take vitamin C with it as well? And the reason I say that, now this is my own advice, is because when you're under stress, your body uses a lot of vitamin C up. And it, but the body cannot make vitamin C. Some people are actually predisposed to not be able to absorb as much vitamin C. Um, okay. So, oh, uh, another thing is it could have an effect on your digestive system. Uh, another thing it can do is decrease your appetite. You could lose weight from it, and some people just cannot be losing weight. Another thing that it can do is it may slow down your digestion a little. You need to drink lots of fluids with it and eat properly. So basically the mind and the body are connected. There's a gut-mind connection. There's a biome and all this other stuff. People that have HIV, another contraindication, um... So here's the links. Okay, it looks like I went through everything, and uh, the links are below. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope this is useful information for you, and maybe you learned something new. Maybe you didn't remember. If you have bipolar, uh, it's not a good idea to, to do it because it could cause a serotonin storm. Uh, that's a very dangerous thing, a serotonin storm, uh, is where somebody starts to... Uh, not be able to sleep, they're all over the place, and, um, you know, you really need to get uh, enough sleep every night. You have to have good, healthy habits, and Sammy can be, for some people, just what they need.
for uh, a problem, but of course you would need to discuss this with your physician, and I don't think you can get it without a prescription in Europe. That's what I heard. Okay, well thank you for stopping by. Take care and have a great rest of your day. Bye.